It has been more than 60 years since Atlanta had an active streetcar system, but a new $92 million project is currently underway to connect Centennial Olympic Park with the King Center using modern light rail that promises to invigorate all the areas it runs through. So the mission really was, uh, was a couple of things. Uh, one was to reconnect two areas, and two, to revitalize uh, the Auburn Avenue and Edgewood Avenue district. And so one of the reasons why we want to actually build this system is not just for tourists, but also for students, for residents, for those who want a different way to get out of town. And the, the issue that we've had uh, for many years is that MARTA is a terrific system. Although there has been a lack of what's called last mile connectivity. So you can get to your destination within about one to two or two to three miles. This light rail transit system will get you to your destination within one to two blocks. In order to make this new system possible, a massive construction project was undertaken that has affected businesses throughout the city. I guess for the most part, it just is a deterrent for traffic. It's a deterrent for customers because of the uh, you know, all of the barrels and everything, just the people, the presence of construction just seems to deter a lot of traffic from wanting to get, um, come to the area. I think that maybe they should have, uh, you know, tried to build up the neighborhood before they introduced the rail. I think other businesses would have appreciated a little bit more, you know, um, help, you know, so they can, everyone can be a part of it. While streetcars are clearly becoming a part of Atlanta's future, they are also a part of its past. In 1871, the first streetcar line connecting five points with the West End began operations in the city. This line was primitive and consisted of horse-drawn coaches riding on cast iron rails. After the success of this first line, others were constructed to connect most of the city. In 1902, these various lines were consolidated under the Georgia Railway and Power Company. These lines were fully electrified and kept pace with other systems around the country. However, in 1949, this system was dismantled with buses taking the place of the streetcars. Despite this, some of the old system still remains today as a testament to Atlanta's vibrant past. This vibrant past is something that many hope will be revived with a new system that is expected to be completed in April of 2014. I think it's going to help everybody's business. Most important, I think it's going to help this community a lot. It's a very historic community and um, to me it's been a little bit neglected and this is going to give the uh, a little bit of even a little life back into it that is well needed for everybody around here. Just bringing that presence back to this community. This was a really nice flourishing community years ago and I, I think the community that's already here and the newcomers would really like to see that again.